What's up everybody, it's Lord Vapor Smith, Draco Mar, and now it's time for an episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In this episode of Ocarina of Time, we will be exploring some very annoying stuff. Last time we talked to Princess Zelda and she discussed the Triforce. In this episode, we will be gaining money for someone that I hate more than anyone else in the game. As well as getting a specific so song that will allow us to switch day from night, which is useful for many ventures. Um, you'll also see why later, and I'm also having an outtake bonus video of just how annoying this guy actually can be. And I am not the only one who hates him either. Runner guy also hates this guy, and anyone who attempts to get 100% in this game will know exactly what I mean by this guy is frustrating. Um, I also had a terrible time with Volvegia the Subterranean Lava Dragon, but that's a long way from now. Um, what else did I happen? Oh yeah, I defeated the giant mother brain thing and escaped from the explosion. That was insane. I managed to do that. I am um, making a plot about Vaporsmith going to the core of the Earth, my journey into the core of the Earth where we have all these strange demons. We are going to, in currently, going to be taking chickens and assembling them to make a bottle. Now, interestingly, one of these chickens is going to be very hideously hard to find and is going to hide itself somewhere in this patch of chickens. It's going to hide itself somewhere and it'll be interesting to see where. So anyway, we've got the chicken up front and then we've got the chicken in this corner here on the way to Kakariko graveyard, stoneyard, whichever one you prefer. Um, graveyard of all the people that Ganondorf has ever killed. Ganondorf is very annoying. I think he just killed everyone in the repetition. Um, here you want to roll into this box to collect this chicken. People always seem to mess up this chicken. I have trouble grabbing the chicken. Grab the chicken and hopefully not go into the door. Because if I go into the door, it'll reset the entire thing, making me have to go all the way back to the beginning and get more chickens. Anyway. Uh, it's so annoying whenever you have to do it all the way back to the beginning again. And do it again! And again! And again! Some of these, these, these mini-games will really get on your nerves. Or, you know, when things just don't want to go your way. And it gets frustrating when someone like me when that happens. Anyway, because I have a need to have all the stuff under my control. Anyway, I'm grabbing these chickens and trying to assemble them on that patch of grass over there. Um, I know that my competitors are currently doing Smash Bros and Mario Maker, but I want to try to stick to one game and try to complete it on my channel to get a reputation going before moving on to Smash Bros and other games that may not be as popular as Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time has been popular in many areas. It has even been popular with my competitors at one point. One of my competitors got a world record in Ocarina of Time any percent and then dropped it. He dropped the category entirely. Then he forfeited the world record um, to Joden Stone, and then he forfeited that record to... Um, well, actually, Joden Stone got another world record. But then Skeeter wanted to get the world record back, and then he stole it back from him, and now Skater has it. And now I'm not even sure if Skater has it. It's probably some evil Japanese guy probably has it. Anyway, I'm going to be taking these chickens over to this pen. Um, this was in the original world record method was to use the chickens to get the bottle and to optimize the chickens to a ludicrous degree. Um, later other methods involved even crazier stuff um, that makes no sense to get to the end. Uh, but I, since it makes no sense, I can't explain it to you! 
Anyhow, we have the one chicken. Now, this one chicken is very evasive. <laughs> this one chicken is very evasive. Um, despite my rusted Smash Bros, I still beat Fees at it and Mario Kart, although I had a very bad Mario Kart race where I was worried I might lose to Fees, but that did not happen, thankfully. I am still looking around for this chicken because I have, like, like, like oh, I have no idea where this is, and, um, I'm trying to check all the possible places where the chicken could be hiding, because these chickens, at least in this game, can be very dastardly sneaky. You sneak into various places. Um, that guy up there will get a heart piece, but we're not getting that until much later on because I'm trying to get a sweep on the heart containers. I still don't have all of them, but my file, this file that you see here, because I'm a little behind on posting, it actually has 15 heart containers on it now. And we're adults instead of a child. But anyway, we've managed to assemble all of the chickens. The chickens. And we will be getting this fine glass bottle. Glass bottles are useful in this game as you can fill them with various things, such as bugs, fairies, and milk. And even if you don't need fairies, um, you might want to use milk because some of these bosses are frustrating ish and you may want to use the bottles for bugs for getting gold sculptulas and for a hundred percent here I believe if I am not mistaken we have the frustrating dumpy uh, dumpy is horribly frustrating um, but I think what I'm first gonna do is... We are going to play left, up, right, left, up, right, which goes to Zelda's lullaby. And we are going to be going into the royal tomb to find a specific song that's very useful. Um, this is kind of creepy, but it's kind of like going into the center of the earth, maybe. Um, but... At the same time, it's not as cool as the temples are. But sometimes the temples are very frustrating. Especially some of the bosses. The most frustrating boss I find is... Uh... Volvagia. Because of the way it, like, pops it. You'll see. Uh... So annoying. That in Twin Nova is annoying, too. Um, the other bosses are not so annoying. I will tell you. So anyway, you're going to want to uh, use your slingshot on these bats and get rid of them. Snipe. The most frustrating temple, I'd say the champion of that, has got to be the Shadow Temple. It just has to be. Um, we're going to be going up these, and, you'll, and I'll explain why it is when we get there. Um, we get past these we deads. Apparently they didn't die. They died, they came back, and then they live again. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to be taking this uh, royal family poem, and we're going to be trying to give peace to the living dead because that's another use of this song. Something inscribed in the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Oh my God, this could be really dangerous. Actually, it's not because it's not cinematic uh, thing, but like it's fair use. But if it's not fair use, that actually is very dangerous. <laughs> So it's right down up, right down up, and that is the Sun Song. The Sun Song is used to change day to night and used to freeze Reedheads, which is one of the more useful songs besides Zelda's Lullaby, obviously. Zelda's Lullaby is used to open many different gates and areas in the game. And... Um, Sun Song is even used more often in Master Quest, which is a harder version. If you didn't think this version was hard enough, there's a Master Quest with a dungeon that's twice as hard. And the Redead apparently takes offense from me walking through this tomb of theirs. They don't want me in their period. They want me out of their area. And now... We will be going on and going and meeting the most frustrating guy in the entire game. 
This guy can cause minor madness in those who, like, no, not even minor madness. Amazing, crazy, okay. Don't mess with the graves, you're the gravekeeper, your face may be scary. You are a bad guy because you're so annoying. You, and there's nothing heart pounding about the grave digging tour, trust me. It is so frustrating. So, you basically, you pay him 10 rupees, and you have to get him on these patches of loose dirt. Loose soil. Loose N64 polygon soil. And he is so annoying and eats up all your money. Gosh. Get the heart piece for that is so annoying. 